It's September 12th, 2013, and today I'd like to talk about creating your own trading strategy. And it's very important you understand this, and uh, I want to discuss this more so uh, because, you know, uh, people message me from time to time, and, uh, you know, they want to know when to get in, when to get out of stocks. And you really got to start looking for your own uh, trading strategy and what your trade is going to be. Without that, you're just going to be guessing and hoping uh, based on what I do. So I'm going to show you a little something or give you a little insight here. So I'm going to use the Boeing as an example because I had a trader, um, you know, asking some questions. And uh, I just want to help you guys out and uh, just look at some things. So looking at Boeing uh, here, looking at the stock here, we're looking at the 108 level. We can see that it basically was hitting this point multiple times, okay? And uh, over here, it didn't break it. This was the confluence point. There was no volume. There was no juice to take it higher, okay? So it didn't really uh, go all the way through. It broke it, come back down, so there's no conviction. Now we're doing a multi-day uh, span, and it is heading higher. So zooming in on, let's say, a two-hour time frame, again, you can see there's, there's what's happening. Stock is moving, okay? It dipped back down. It didn't hold it. Uh, you know, right here, stock moved down, moving back up, moving back down, coming back up here. Now it's going to retest this. So this is when we pick up and start watching the stock again a little bit more. I mean, obviously we're watching it all the way through, but this is where we start looking at it a little bit more closely. So I'm here. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more on the 30 minute. So there's our main line. Okay. There's our main line. We're watching it here on the ninth. We're watching it. We're watching it. Didn't break it. It broke on the 10th. That's when we enter the stock. It broke in. Here's the volume. Look at it. It's a little bit slightly higher than the other days on the opening days. So it has some conviction. It's not anything amazing, but it's got something. It's got a little juice. Okay, so if you entered it there, fine. If you were a little hesitant, you could have just bought, you know, maybe... 10 shares. If you normally buy 20 shares, you could have bought 10 shares. If you normally buy 100 shares, you could have bought 50 shares instead, just if you weren't ready yet. You know, so now that what the stock is doing is over here, it's creating these like little basing patterns. So again, it's moving up and I'm just trying to show you, uh, you know, it's not the perfect basing pattern. Normally basing patterns take a little longer to develop, but let's just say it's kind of moving up in the stair step pattern. So here now you can add some as it's going up and breaking these little uh, support resistance lines. You can add some. Now, if you're already missed that move on the entry, let's just say now we're already here and you're like, oh, man, I missed the move. I should have looked at this, you know, four or five days ago. Uh, you know, you can still enter the stock, but you got to have your own risk reward strategy. You got to say, OK, I'm going to enter it, but I'm going to go with five shares now instead of, you know, 20 shares. I'm going to go with five shares or five shares instead of 100 shares. So you go in lightly and you see if it works in your favor and then you can add to the position again as it bases or as it pops higher. Now, if you're waiting for it to pull back to let's say this level 108 level again, uh, you know, you could be waiting for a while. And if that's okay with you, by all means, that's not a problem. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, you just have to wait for the appropriate entry time. And the entry is key. It's critical. If you entered it over here at 108 and you're holding shares and you took half off over here at 109, you know, you're sitting on a dollar profit, a dollar on 100 shares. That's, you know, $100. And now you got the $50 to run. You know, think of it on a thousand shares. Now you got a lot, lot better uh, proposition now. It's a thousand dollar run right there. So basically you took $500 in profit if you took half off and then you let the rest run, the other 500 right now. So in either case, you know, right now it had a $2 run basically from that 108 level. So 1,000 shares, $2 run, $2,000. You know, that's great money for a lot of people. Um, so, but you got to come up with your own risk and reward strategy. If you're looking at the five minute, let's just say the five minute. And you're looking at it right here. You know, again, you got these different points of support and resistance. It's breaking higher. You can add just a little bit if you want, and then it goes higher. If it hits your stop, you got to mark a stop. If it hits that stop, your entry point, let's just say, or a little below your entry point, then you got to be out. No question about it. So, you know, that's how you trade these stocks. You got to have your own trading strategy and you got to have your own risk reward strategy. Without that, you know, you're just trading blindly. So, uh, don't do it, you know, uh, try to get in early as possible and try and make sure you have your own trading system set up. I mean, that's the best way to trade. Otherwise, you're just following people. Nothing wrong with that, but it's not going to be consistent.